What what was the last show we played? Matt's wedding? Matt's Matt wedding. Matt and Emma's wedding anniversary. We've be, we become a wedding band. <laughs> We're going from being a wedding band to the O2. Yeah, so the past like three years, what people have been like, so dude, what you've been up to is the flight's still happening? I'm like, yeah, yeah, just mainly playing weddings. We've always been a glorified wedding band. Mm -hmm. I do really like playing weddings though. They are fun. They're it some was... of the best gigs, aren't mm -hmm. they? Just like showing off at a wedding as well. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Drunk as well, yeah. We don't drink anymore, so it's something to do as well. <laughs>I mean, I've got, we've got the right shirts on for this song. I know. Right. Let's get, what we need now is a pina colada. Mm. Or a margarita. Or a rocking chair. Yeah. Hammock. Rocking chair. Or a lilo in the pool. <laughs> Pretty girls. Cool. So that's it's definitely... Taking me by surprise. Uh, the, I like the lyrics in the second verse. We're chatting about Cheerios. Yeah, James. Yeah, it's so James. very James. So, James. I mean, so we were in. We we're on tour writing this one. We we just started writing, and Rashman came in. So Richard Rashman was our was manager at the time, and I think he wanted to hear what we'd been working on, but we weren't ready to play. But also, we didn't want to say like you leave. We were really like itching to like get back to the song. This one and Man on Fire we wrote like back to back, I think on the same day, and it just happened really quick. You know when it's like effortless and you just get one of those like lucky moments. Was that in Manchester? Yeah. Did you write How's My Hair as well? No, that yeah. one we did in Cardiff. Ah, oh, okay. So Manchester, this, this was written, so the, the hotel in Manchester we wrote, we've written so many songs there, like Air Hostess, Unsaid Things, mm. That Thing You Do, Crash the Wedding. Loads of McFly songs have been written there. They're not McFly songs. <laughs> there's, there's a mixture of McFly songs there. <laughs> You're from I mean, there's one guy thinking of the year 2000 our song. Is that what you wrote that? <laughs> it was just became a place where like every time we'd go there we'd write a song that would become like one of the like our favourites on an album or like a big single for one of our bands. Pretty Girls was just kind of, I just forgot about it mm. until now. It's one of those ones that comes alive. It's, weird, it's weirdly one of the ones I always, whenever I sit down and pick up a, an acoustic at home, I always play it. So I've just not listened to it. Yeah, it's just a nice, like, it's really like cool, chill. It's slightly acoustic. below mid tempo. Yeah, it's pretty laid back. It's isn't laid it? back. Again, weird how we've split the vocals on that one. Really weird. I, I'm, I'm still <laughs> scarred by that. <laughs> was it because we, it we were recording it, it live? Good though. You sound great on that. Like, yeah, but it's random. Yeah, it's I know, know, but <laughs> it's random. The story. I just come in and go. Yo, no, 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 no. <laughs> Looking through those what eyes? <laughs> Hungry eyes. Perfect. But I just come in going. Looking through those perfect eyes. <laughs> You're still here. You're still here. Hey Tom, pretty girl. <laughs> Standard. It's like, it's like I turned up late for that song. Oh, just in time for the middle eight. Oh, to be honest, mate, it's probably probably, probably what happened. Is what happened. Yeah. Well, that's one thing we've learned. I need to learn the songs before <laughs> I record them. So I'm glad we had this meeting. <laughs>